Thank you for joining us today at Miniature Wargaming Labs. Today we'll be doing a review of the Goliath Mauler. So once you decide to take your Goliath gang out of the Underhive and into the expanse of the Ash Waste, this is a custom vehicle for them. I can see why this is been yeah. Alright, so $47. It comes with two bikes. Two maulers. So I think that's gonna mean it has two frames, and two bases. So we get two identical frames here. And it actually doesn't like look like too many pieces, but you know, twenty-three dollars and fifty cents a mauler. Alright, so we'll go ahead and put these together and see what they look like. Now I've assembled my maulers, just finished gluing them together, and I mounted them on bases um, because I want the firing arcs down um, for checks there. So really quite huge models. Uh, probably the biggest parts uh, that trip me up on the assembly um, is fitting... Uh, these caps to the wheel wells. Um, there's actually little slots for them, and I kept missing it. So when you see the video of me assembling it, um, you know where I made the mistake. Um, the arms lining up to the handlebars actually fit in really well. Um, really just plug and play, so I was happy with that. So these are actually huge models. If you see, that's a standard Goliath one. Huge base, but it's a standard. This seems to be the small vehicle base that they're using. It's the same one they used for the Orlock bikes. It's a very uh, nuanced and bespoke model. A lot of Goliath flair to it. So really happy with how the model um, came together. And so we'll have some fun painting this one. It'll take some time. Anytime you do a guy on a bike, it's like painting two people at least, probably more like three. All right, um, now let's talk about what else you get from the box here. So one of my favorite things with Necromunda models is the leftover frames. So we know with the Book of the Outlands you can customize your own vehicles. So when you buy this, you're not just getting two bikes at like $23.50 a bike. But you get these leftover pieces. So I try to take as many pieces away from this one frame, and I still have two heads left over. Don't have any mohawks left. You only get two of those. But in this frame, I've got six heads left over and two mohawks. And I got a uh, leftover tire from this guy and um, bolters and um, auto cannons options there. So as we look at taking stuff like Sentinels and um, the Ridge Haulers that are made for uh, Gene Steeler cults, you can actually take these bits and create some like scatter terrain, some little weapon add-ons, um, some uh, when you take Goliaths and try to put them on vehicles, these will be the um, Outland style heads with the rebreathers they'll need to ride around the uh, ash waste. So if you're starting like an actually motorized force, this would be a good box to buy, or at least if you can find someone who has a leftover sprue, to have a lot of the little touches you'll need to boost up a uh, conversion to make it look more Goliathy. So over, um, good on the extra bits. Um, you can actually use these bolters and auto cannons just for other gangs. I mean, these are pretty standard there. So very happy with the set. Wish it was five bucks cheaper. Probably been happier, but what can you do? That's life. So uh, if you have a Goliath gang, you're playing Ash Waste, must buy. Good statement piece on the board. Well, thank you for joining us at Miniature Wargaming Labs, and we'll see you next time.